Good morning. We're here in Grand Forks, just getting ready to load. Hmm. See where I'm gonna put this camera. Let's put it up here for now. All right, let's pull into position. Aero truck in front of me is pulling out. Happy Tuesday. It's almost 11 a.m. here. I'll be getting the same stuff that uh, the truck next to us has, I think. What it looked like to me. Now we just wait and get loaded. This is a spot where uh, you have to stay in the truck while they're loading. Oh, it's wrapped lumber. I was not expecting wrapped lumber.
Ship 29? On the pad. Flight 4 is coming. Ship 29 testing campaign continues. What's next? SpaceX scraps a legendary booster. Massey's flame trench parts are spotted. SpaceX launches the first Dragon from Slick 40, and RFA reveals their updated cargo capsule. My name is TJ. Welcome to What About It. Let's dive right in. Starship updates. Starbase is always buzzing with activity. In just two weeks since the last launch, base here has also had a good one in there. Well, actually, I've been doing windows and I've cleaned the floor today. And uh, fixed the step the other day, finding all kinds of things to do. The latter test uh, that will run pretty thin by the end of the week. Yeah, you know it. By the time you're watching this, there's a chance that the static fire might have already happened. Should the static fire have taken place, we'll show footage from it on screen right now. No matter if the test already occurred or not, the pace of progress is remarkable. After the second flight, SpaceX took more than a month to conduct static fire for Ship 28. To help, they were able to cut that time in under two weeks for Ship 29. Talk about efficiency. Following these tests, Ship 29 is expected to return to the high bay for final touches, such as installing covers for the star. mode out there for we're going to be done tomorrow where we're at. Oh yeah, okay. Thanks for the heads up.
there, Lisa? Yes, go ahead. I just got a text. You can let Lynn know that none of us will be here tomorrow. We got shut down here for some reason. I'm waiting for Northport to open up. Okay, thanks, Lynn. I'll let her know for sure. Pull into the yard here and here, here. Pull into the yard here and replace the batteries on all the cameras because it's taken a little over an hour to get loaded. I know you guys probably got a couple minutes out of that, but it took an hour in real world. If I didn't edit out all the where nothing's happening, the video would be over by now. Let's pull a little, for, just off the yard here. Let's put my forward flashers on. Just pull off the yard here and then we'll uh, pull the cameras down, replace the batteries, and then shoot up Eholt through Grand Forks, westbound up Eholt. It started raining on us here. Speed limit's 10 kilometers an hour through the yard. I'm not actually wearing my microphone. Well, I'm now. Lose the hard hat. What's this guy doing here? Sutko. Not a quad deck, just a tritum. 
don't know if I've seen that trailer before. Hey, it's Greg. How's it going, Greg? Hey, how's it going, Greg? Why not have his radio on? No forklifts coming. Looks like a big hole. Big old hole. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so this is what our load looks like over here. Not near a max weight load. Not even, like we could have probably put another three bundles up there. So, I mean, I'm, it'll, it'll be heavy. It'll be a heavy load. But considering what a max load looks like, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be good. I'll throw you guys up on the forward facing mirror cam here. Seems like it stopped raining, so let's see how this works out. down got another super bee coming in for a load Go through Grand Forks and do some climbing. It'll still be a hard, hard climb. We'll be doing 25, 30 kilometers an hour. Nobody coming? I can just go? That is highly unusual. Go Super B. Hey, it's another Sutco chip truck with a unique paint job. 
I think because they buy those trucks used. If they buy them brand new or lease them brand new, they're the green ones. If they're used, they're all sorts of colors. That's quite the colorful outfit there. Another Sutco chip truck. Tell you, Sutco does own Highway 3 for chip trucks. You'll see some DCT as well, but at least at least between Castlegar and Grand Forks, Sutco kind of owns this stretch. I guess really between uh, Osoyus and Grand Forks. Or Osoyus and Castlegar. Just kept going. Sometimes we pull off to the left here on the back of Cal Tire and go to that uh, no frills to go chopping. If you're a long haul truck driver coming through Grand Forks, British Columbia, need some groceries, that's a good place to do it. There's a, quite a big yard behind Cal Tire to park. I mean, it's potholy and all of that, but you can safely drive through them without getting stuck. And uh, do some chopping at the no frills. <laughs> All right, 
hammer down 70 kilometers an hour. I usually wait till that intersection. Well, not usually. Sometimes I wait till that intersection. I'm in no rush today. I, I have to admit, cinching that load down was harder than I care to admit. The boss is like, no, nah, you sure you don't want another day off? And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, let's go. But yeah, it, it was, it was hard. It was definitely hard. The ribs, the ribs and the wrist didn't appreciate it much. But having said that, the only painkiller I have taken for all of my injuries since Wednesday is one Aleve. No, two. Two Aleves. Um, one the night, so Wednesday night, so I could sleep. And another one half an hour before I unloaded in Vernon just so I could unstrap and unbungee even though those guys helped me a lot. So I've taken two a leave for all the pain I've had. So sure I'm in pain, but it's not causing me enough pain that I can't sleep. And uh, why take painkillers if I don't need to? Ooh, it's like some kind of maybe spatula or something like that. Or, you know, one of those, uh, what are they called for grout? That's what it'll look like. Or a drywall, you know. To make, to make the, the stuff smooth, whatever they're called. I don't know, my brain's not working. Words have failed me. How dare words fail me? I demand a refund. hour let's go let's go Flashers on as we lose all our speed. Let's see what what our slowest speed is up here. Down to 40 kilometers. Thirty-five. Basically 20 miles an hour right now. No, oh, it's it might be 35. That might be our yeah. Well, I told you it was light. Okay, what was that? Let's not do that again. Automatic, whatever that was, don't do it again. I didn't like it. Don't do it. Yeah, 
35. Sure better than doing 25, so. I'm in no rush, but we're gonna make some decent time. If we do all our climbs 10 kilometers faster than a fully maxed out weight, that's, that's a significant difference. That makes about a half an hour difference in the day. to gain speed a little bit. Forty nine kilometers an hour. We're, we're booking it now. Making good time now. Pickup should have enough time to get past us before the merge lane, or the passing lane ends. That max load limit is for the side road, not the main highway. Although with our load, we would probably meet the 70%. car coming way back there well they're gonna have to wait till the next passing lane there's quite a few passing lanes here so no need to do any unsafe passing on this highway we're up to 50 kilometers an hour feeling downright racy now safe way to pass right there. Why not?
sticking around the 55, 60 kilometers an hour. The roads are wet, but it stopped raining, so it's kind of one of those days. to get the um, hard climbs onto onto video because I know some some of you guys appreciate the hard hard climbs um, if you guys are getting tired of the hard climbs let me know if you guys are getting tired of the Coca-Cola videos let me know it is one Coca-Cola video a week too much should I if, if we take the cola Coca-Cola should I do one every two weeks because I know for me, one a week seems a bit overkill. Because there's a good chance I'll be taking the Coca-Cola this week again. And I could just throw in a old extra video and then record the Coca-Cola for a future video when we aren't taking the Coca-Cola as often. You guys saw the video. Uh, just a little over two weeks ago. The one that came out on Friday the 22nd. You know why I do the Coca Cola videos because that's gotten well over 10,000 views in a week compared to a regular video which make a thousand views, sometimes less than a thousand views. So you see why I do them, but if you guys are regular here, I kind of want to not do that every week, unless you guys like them too. Let me know, let me know what you think. I'm not going to ask that question on a Coca-Cola video, I'm going to ask this question on a very generic video here, Grand Forks, Inter for Grand Forks. I have to say, Inter for Grand Forks is always a good place to load. Um, they're always close to max weight, well not this one, this one's light, but almost always they are close to max weight, but rarely, rarely do they go overweight. Nice. All right, gentlemen, hammer down. If I have to, I will slow down here to get both of them by me. Is there a third truck back there? Hammer down, guys. I will make sure all three of you guys get by. Let off the throttle a little bit. Probably didn't even need to. It's a longer passing lane than. Well, they could battle it out and see which ones are faster in the next passing lane.
have plenty of room to make it by. Much empty dump trucks. Alright, almost to the top here. Starts getting easy here. I guess this is as good as any spot to call it a day. I'm just looking at the time. I can be in Vancouver, well, Surrey. I could be in Surrey by 8 p.m. today. And I can't unload till 3 p.m. What's the point? I'm gonna call my boss if that 3 p.m. appointment is hard and we cannot deliver before lunch. I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna spend the night at home and then drive down to Vancouver tomorrow and deliver at 3 p.m. I think that's what I'll do. I'll call the boss and we'll go from there. if we can get an earlier appointment before lunch, if we can get an appointment before lunch tomorrow, I'll deliver before lunch and then pick up that load in Abbotsford tomorrow. And then I don't have to rush like crazy to try, because Friday will be a rush. Friday will be a go, 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 go. If I can load Friday morning in Abbotsford and then just rush to get to Kelowna, deliver in Kelowna. Not Friday, uh, Thursday. Friday is a holiday. I can be home in what, two and a half hours? Have a whole evening off, edit this video, edit yesterday's video. Maybe I have time to sleep to, uh, to do my ASMR video, ASM, ASMR video for the other channel. For those of you that hate my voice, go to that channel where I don't talk at all. It's just nice and relaxing truck noises. Um, I, I did, I think coming up, I'm going to start recording the ASMR videos without this microphone. Because a couple of people have commented when I forget to turn this microphone on, they actually like the sound of the truck better using the uh, action camera microphone that has a better better sound to the truck so for the ASMR video I'm gonna try one without using these uh, microphones and uh, see what the reaction is might be a better engine sound we'll see we'll see oh yeah right I was saying I was I was, I was calling it a video okay well We'll call it a video here. We've made it to Eholt Summit. Thank you guys so much for all your support. We'll see you guys tomorrow. With probably still this load on, heading toward Vancouver. For now, oh, there's a sign, e Summit, uh, 1028, so 1,028 meters tall. It's not a very tall summit. Yeah, we'll see how the rest of the week goes after I talk to the boss and see how I get all the videos in. I'm going to make a dang good attempt to getting it all in. I'll definitely have time to edit, that's for sure. I am out of here. You guys absolutely rock.
You can see the lake is still frozen over. Plus seven out. Thank <laughs> you. 